Welcome to Film Shapes, the podcast. Cuando el juego entras a la cancha, se va la vida, se va todo. Hi guys, welcome to the pod. Um, today we're going to talk about Diego Maradona. We're here with Rolly. Hi, Rolly. Hello. And with Merv. How are you, Merv? Well, thank you. Glad to be off the bench. Off the bench. <laughs> Off the bench, yes, we had a, a couple of um, football-y types who couldn't quite get to see it, so um, Merv's uh, late sub. But you got me. You're always here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your place. <laughs> and you love your football, Rolly. Am I right? No. Anyway, um, so this is the latest doco from Asif Kapadia uh, after Senna in 2010 and Amy in 2015. Um, he, you know, he has directed some other films, some dramas, but I think um, this found footage doco style is where he, he's made his name. Um, now, this film is, of course, about the legendary Diego Maradona, arguably the greatest football player the world has ever seen. We'll come to that later, I guess. Um, it focuses only, or primarily, I should say, on his time at Napoli in Italy from 1984 to 1991. Um, Rolly, can I ask you first? Did you know Do much you want about... another cup of tea? <laughs> I'll see you later. Did you know much about Maradona before seeing this no, film? No, I just knew him as a name associated with, you know, being a bit of a legend yeah. in the football circles. But I didn't know he was Argentinian. I didn't know. You know, if I had to guess, I probably would have thought he was Italian. Okay. Okay. Mm. Because of the name, the sound of the name or the... Yeah, and just, I don't know. I'm always just... Mm. So, uh, yeah, that's where my association with football, it, it, football sort of goes Italian. into Europe oh, good. more so than South America. But, of course, yeah. you know, I, I know in my conscious mind that that's not the case. But, um, mm. yeah. Okay. Um, so as a non-football, would you say you're a not a football fan? I would say I'm a non-football. Well, mind you, uh. Uh, I don't mind a bit of hacky sack. Does <laughs> okay. that count? See, when, when you say non-footballer, this yeah. is the thing. You don't play football. You just watch it on a on a little screen most uh, of the time. Yeah, I used to. I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah, yeah okay. But yes, I do watch it on a little screen. But I like you sort of like, so you're a non-footballer, unlike me, who I, I'm a footballer. Did I say footballer? I meant non-football fan. Oh, did? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe I misheard you. Perhaps you did, or maybe I misheard you. No, I'm definitely not a football fan, really. Okay. No. Mm. So it... Uh, well, let's go to Merv. Um, Merv, you like a bit of football now and again, don't you? Every now and then, yeah, yeah, enjoy. You, it. you wouldn't be um, hardcore, no. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm a hardcore fan either, but I, I like football a lot. I'd say it's probably become my favourite sport now. Um, but I, I wasn't of the era of when Maradona was at his peak. I was very young and still probably mainly interested in Aussie rules anyway. Yeah. So I kind of got him around 90, 90 94, those, th- that era. I missed all his Napoli stuff. So this is somewhat new to me. I have seen docos from him before. Um, but a- as a film, what did you think, Rolly? Standing on the outside. Oh, sorry, I drifted off for a minute. <laughs> no, no, I, I thought, you know, what struck me huh. straight away was the, uh, the quality of the footage. And I don't mean it, it was high quality. Yes, I oh, mean, yeah. It was shit, wasn't mm, it? Mm, yeah. It was, um, it, was like, it was like home VHS recordings of VHS recordings almost, <laughs> some of it. Yeah. It was that shaky. But obviously it had not been seen before and that's why they got away with using it, right? A lot of it, yeah. I've heard that – well, the stuff where he's unveiled um, to the San Paolo fans, like 75,000 of them came to just, just to see him sign the papers or do his first press conference or something – that's uh, that old footage that people have seen that before. But uh, yeah. oh, where the guy comes in and says, and about the mafia, he talks about the mafia. Is yes. that is that yeah. the footage? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was a pretty powerful scene. Actually, it was a pretty uh, powerful opening, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the, yeah, there are some. I think some of the stuff like the car journey to the stadium at the very beginning of the film. I think that's new. Um, there's a yeah. There are a lot of lots of newly discovered footage. I guess yeah. Must have taken ages to, to find yeah, it all. All that put stuff it all in the locker room. I found that fascinating. All mm. the stuff you see in the locker room. Yeah. Because I guess it's you know that was very much raw and the players and because normally when you see these things it's the training footage, mm. the press uh, conferences, out on the ground. Yeah. You know game footage, which is all very 
neat and nice. Yeah. yeah Where but, this is, you know, them mucking around and being... Mm-hmm. But you see a bit of a... That's a kind of a, an existing trope, though, these days, isn't it? The, the locker room camera with everyone after yeah, a victory. Yeah, and, and yeah. you know, that's quite a well-known... But was this more special because it was um, Diego or... Well, no, I think now the locker room stuff is all still very staged. Rarely do you get a mm. stuff up where yeah. this was mates with, you know, big old video cameras. You know, they try and make mm. it look like that now, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They I try and make was... it look all <clears throat> loose. And... Mm. Yeah, this was genuine. Yeah. I mean, they're still genuine, but, you know, this was not for public consumption. This was them being them. And you got that from the songs they were singing. Yes. And all the rest of it. <laughs> that yeah. was probably the most. Yeah. yeah one yeah, thing I true. loved was um, the translations of the um, a lot of the songs the fans were singing, they were singing. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to remember them now. Really, yeah. Oh, well, when the, um, well, the main, the Venetian or the northern ones, like, you know, you've got cholera. Yeah, <laughs> on the, ba- yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and some what? of the, you mean, yeah, in the crowd and some of the yeah. banner, the banners were. Yeah, were go well wash. Ropey. and Go and wash yourselves, yeah. Yeah, yeah the great. Rather north, offensive. Yeah, the great north-south problem in Italy, I guess. Hmm. Um yeah, I was. I, I watched another doco on Maradona after this one, which I picked up at a book fair or something for a fiver, like just a, a real bodgy one, made by Gazzetta dello Sport, the newspaper. I think it's a newspaper in in Italy, and it was just the comparison's pretty stark. It's just um here in this year he did this, in this year he went here, in this year he did this, and I, Dom says yeah th- those kind of things are pretty much um like Wikipedia with images. Yeah. yeah, compared to yeah. what we just saw. So. Yeah, that's, and that's not that's not a documentary, is it? It's an not really. No, it's, well, it's infotainment or something. Yeah, it, it, I suppose it would be classified as a doco, but yeah. a very perfunctory documentary. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's still good to watch the the footage of someone like Maradona playing, but this one had more of a. He found a story in this stuff, mm. didn't he? Oh, yeah. So yeah, this was was definitely a story. I, I think. Yeah, I didn't. I was. It was good to uh, learn how he'd come up through poverty and things as well. I didn't right, know that right. before. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, he, he he's very anti-authority, old old Diego. He didn't like Havelange. He, he really didn't like Blatter. He doesn't think much of the Pope, for example. Mm. So, he, yeah, and he's a big... Um, I'd say the Pope doesn't probably think much of him either. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> um, he's yeah. He's also friends with um, Castro, I think. Uh, was was sorry, yeah, sorry, yep. yeah yeah and also um, oh the other bloke who um, Chavez when they oh yeah yep yep Venezuela I think there was stuff with oh, the two of them yeah 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 um, <sighs> yeah Maradona eh? but as a film what if uh, I mean I'm the one I I need to be asking this question sure and I do ask it to myself is it yeah. Not being a sport fan, did it still stand up as a documentary? I'd, I'd say, yeah, it it did. It had some pretty standard sort of elements of a rags to riches story, and then it, uh, you know, it was a rags to riches fall from grace mm. or or something. Um, well, that that the, I, I was wondering how they'd approach this, and because um, he's had a he's had much more than just his time at Napoli. At the beginning, they showed a little bit of Barcelona, right? Yeah, a little, I mean, little bit of his early days. It just wasn't important to the story. Yeah. It's like, you know. Yeah, they focused primarily. But also within that time at Napoli, he did have the ups and downs. So it's there's a there's a film right there in just that short stretch at Napoli. Was I, that say. Hand of God incident? Mm. That was something I'd heard of before, but... Okay. It seems that wasn't, uh, and I'd seen another documentary where the focus was on that. Yes, of course. Yeah, and um, that's what a lot of people would know about Maradona mm. as well, I think. But um, this was that really wasn't a big part of this year, was it? Not really. No, every because you no. probably thought everyone knows about it anyway, yeah. right? So yeah, why and go it on about? Didn't that? Yeah. affect his career at Napoli. No, no. But nineteen ninety did, and that was um, ah yes, yeah, and I think that's why more focus was on that one. Um, mm. 94 came it was you know it was that culmination of because I love that there was that little montage where it kind of showed him when he first started playing and he was struggling he was getting hacked he was getting taken mm-hmm. down and then he's just talking uh, about you know well I had to learn between speed and skill yeah, and yeah. find that balance exactly. to survive yeah. Yeah. and then you just see him get better and better and suddenly bang he's knocking yeah, the goals yeah. yep. and he's lifting Napoli up and mm. then the World Cup and suddenly Argentina wins and you know yeah. it's 
he's at the you know that's the peak yes the absolute yeah. peak and then you I mean, see it would, yeah. start going downhill and then 1990 is that culmination mm. so yeah it is that yeah. Yeah. Is it, that, that little montage you're talking about that was a it was a clever piece of editing really it really mm. you really did feel like you're watching someone get mm. better yeah yeah but you know of course they've you know they've <laughs> well, taken it's... the best bits out of the right games to yes. i don't even know would that have been in order Oh, not necessarily. No, no, probably not. It's irrelevant. Yeah, but yeah. That, that, so that's okay. Then. They wanted, to, of course, they wanted to to show that visually, and they found the right footage for it. Well, could it could have know. been years apart, dude. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, but it was no. It's the fact that you had Maradona talking about his thought processes, mm. Right? Mm. and then you just get that visualization of that thought process. Yeah, and just where, slowly... did, where did that uh, voice come from? Then was the, when was that recorded? A couple of years ago. A year or two ago, uh, oh, yeah. That's, the, so this that's is interesting. Yeah, okay. I mean, in I checked this on on um, IMDb. There's no credits for the for camera, nothing at all. No cinematographer, no camera department credits. It's clearly, they've just it's all old footage. Yep. And they've they've recorded interviews and pasted that over the top, um, not just with Diego himself, but with others. Audio interviews. Audio mm. interviews, and the rest is um, just all cut together old footage, which is the same as Senna, if I'm not mistaken. And I haven't seen Amy, but yeah, I think mm, it's the same okay. style. Yeah. So that would, I mean, that saves on a fair bit of the budget, I guess. It's almost, yeah. a, you might say it's a cheap way of doing it, but I don't know. It's, it's oh, effective. Not too sure about that. It's mm-hmm. fine if you've got a backlog of, log of footage that yeah. people haven't that, seen That's before. already been shot for you. Yeah. Well, not for you, but it's already been shot. Yeah. Yeah, so no, that's that's his style, I guess. He's sort of pioneering this style. I mean, not, not pioneering, but he's certainly yeah. perfecting so, this style anyway. What it works, I, I mean, well. did he have mm. faster legs than everybody else? Was he? <laughs> what made him better than everyone else? I think the thought process, and I think that put it, you know, be able to translate what you want to do onto the field. And I think yeah. he was just, when you saw the passes, I mean, that was a nice thing. It wasn't just the goals. It was his ability mm. to read the play. Mm. It was his ability to pass and execute. Yeah. So, um, so I, I, yeah, I see. I wonder. I'm, I don't want to put it down too much, that idea, mm. but, you know, it's like in cricket as well. Mm. It's like the, the guy catches the ball mm-hmm. and the bowler kind of gets the credit for, for, the, um, for the out as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, Yes, in male cricket, um, you know that's yeah. sure. Well, uh, I'm l- I don't see the parallel. Well, so you pass the the kick to the guy that shoots the goal. Yeah, the mm. guy still <laughs> shot the goal. Like you just passed it to him, right? Yeah, I love all this terminology. Yeah, Go but on. you've got to put him in the position for him to. Yeah, do, do, now there's. Yeah. I'm not the... saying there's no skill involved. I'm just yeah. saying it's interesting that. Yeah, that is. Uh... Well, but, um, but the goal scorer. Especially if you're like a, I don't know, like someone like Gary Lineker, for example. Oh, sure. He was never. <laughs> what the fuck? He was never a. He was never a, a, a genius, technically gifted player. He was pretty much a fox in the box kind of guy, like a goal hanger. He just wait there, right place, right time. It was all up in his head, mm. and he put the ball in technically well, but he didn't have the skills Maradona did, and he'd be the first to put his hand up, and no, mm. not many people did, but. And so you're saying someone who catches a ball should get 90% of the credit for that wicket? Yeah. Fuck. No, yeah, I think no, they what? caught the ball. No, no. If anything, less than 50%. That, 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 yeah, that bat- doesn't make depends sense. Depends on the catch. I mean, this is a different thing, but that bowler has foxed that batsman into making a, a loose stroke. So that batsman has is, is been tricked by not, the bowler. Not necessarily. <laughs> oh, no, That's okay, a stretch. Okay. okay, or he's a bad batsman who's just... Thrown his wicket away. Either way, the, yeah, it could happen catcher, in any number of circumstances. The catcher, here I throw a bit of paper to you and you catch it. That's a you fucking happy with that? Yeah, I've I noticed you gave paper. me the underarm. See, I don't know. I, I just think about it differently. I think. Okay, uh, but you know, like uh-uh. that underarm. Who was it that did the underarm? Trevor Chapel. Yeah, years ago, and he got booed out, and it, because it was was the last ball or something. Yeah. Yeah, and so, well, what, so so to make sure that nobody else no, that they couldn't get a goal off it, he did a little underarm grubber, a goal, run, a goal, a, a run, or oh, six. In fact, yeah. It, yeah. Anyway, can I explain that to you later, Rolly? <laughs> <laughs> well, I say, I, yeah, it was in the rules. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah, it's just don't, bad. It's just don't bad boo form. at him. Don't boo at him. Yeah. He didn't write the rule book. Boo at his captain who told, told him to do that. No, anyway, no, 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 boo at the rule book if you don't like the rules. Okay, where, where, where are we? I where do we go here? The passing. <laughs> so I was just looking. I was just looking at the time, thinking, how, yeah. how are we going to get? How, look, do I want to talk about soccer for the next fifteen? <laughs> so minutes? you've gone onto something you well, equally maybe, dislike. Maybe we can mix it up. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, can I just explain a couple of other things? Not explain. Uh, I'll tell you about this. Um, it's made a, about just over a million dollars. Now that's that fucking all? chicken chicken feed. It hasn't even really opened in America. Oh. One point three million around the world. It's not much. Uh, well, if it hasn't opened uh, in the States, though. But uh, they're going to have a very limited release and then put it on HBO or something. So yeah, they're, okay. they're clearly not expecting massive audiences. Which is interesting. I mean, one, everyone still hates them in England. So, yeah. I mean, I was talking to Tap, uh-huh. um, our English friend. I was saying how good he is. Oh, you should watch it. Nope. Hate him. He's Australian, oh. actually. No, he is now. He's, isn't he? Yeah. If he listens <laughs> I mean, to this. Depends he, what it is. Tap depends is Australian. What it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would say given the quality of the footage, it's not exactly made for the big screen, is it? Mm. Especially when you're in the front row. Uh, as yeah. We were, yeah. Well, that's – it was – we could either – Yeah. It's, yeah. So to explain to people, yeah. we, we rocked up to, at the cinema and, um, yeah, there were no seats. If we mm. wanted to sit together, all three of us, we had to sit in the front row. It didn't, but yeah, that screen's not a massive screen anyway. You didn't no, have I to, think it was. You fine. didn't have to do a lot of the. So I, at the moment, I'm going left to right in the studio, <laughs> like that with my well, head. Well, you're. We're lucky yeah. it wasn't about tennis. <laughs> yes, good point. Yes, but I think uh, after. Uh, I mean, I yeah, I agree. It was very noticeable at first, but then after a while, mm. I just I just didn't notice. Mm. And, and I think one of the good things about using that uh, footage, it, I found it a very claustrophobic film in a way. Yes. And I think that really summed up um, and I think it was very deliberate because yeah, that's yeah. part of how Maradona <laughs> felt about, particularly mm. towards the end, about his time yeah. in Napoli. Um, and having been there once, you know, for one afternoon on a bus tour driving through that oh yeah, windy little street. It's a very claustrophobic place. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Good, it's, good, good local knowledge. I've never been there. So. Yeah. Okay. Tiny and mm. Um, mm. yeah, and you can just see how there's, you know, yeah. everyone's just on kind of, you got this real sense of everyone on top of each other. And also on, mm. I mean, just on that, places like... I mean, Maradona, uh, that, to be fair, Maradona was used to that type of well business coming from where he came from as well. Um, uh, yeah, but he, he, did, he wasn't the, the focal point, I suppose, there. He was crammed in with other people, but, yeah, but they didn't all want a piece of him then. No, then that's later true. They yeah, did, yeah I sorry, guess. I interrupted you. Oh, um, what was oh, yeah. Also, Naples is a one... Team town, isn't it? Whereas yeah, Rome, British. Rome, and Turin and Milan, they're all and, and other cities around the world. All you can you can split it, but everyone in Naples supports Napoli, so everyone's everyone wants a piece of Diego in this. Yeah, and they do, and that was just shown how everyone yep. <clears throat> until the dreaded goal, it, it, the oh, the penalty. What? Oh, okay, yeah, and that is... that was very deliberate. I mean, yeah. showing how you know how. When he, you know, they yes, he was our team, our our league team. But as soon as he went against Italy, yeah, and scored that goal against Italy, suddenly, you know, it showed that as a tipping point. Mm. Where I think that was a little bit of tricky. I yeah. think that left a bit out because it, yeah. you know it implies that he wasn't happy there, but people yeah. still love them. Suddenly, he scores his goal, and they go, "Right, you bastard, we're going to get you." Yeah, and I, everything I, comes out about him. That was a curious one because I'd heard yeah. for I'd heard for years that he. He encouraged all the Napoli fans to support Argentina in, yeah, in that yeah. semi final, even though they are Italian, yeah. which is kind of interesting. Uh, I, to, I talked to Dom this afternoon actually, and he said, "Yeah, it's, yeah, people did want him to do well, but they were still supporting Italy. It yeah. wasn't, it wasn't quite like that." And we saw that on screen; it was a balance. People were saying, "We want Maradona to mm. win," but but the others were saying, "We want Italy to win, even though we love Maradona." You know, so yeah. um, he said some. He said this. Um, 364 days of the year, you're Neapolitans. But for one day of the year, they want you to be Italian. So please support Argentina instead. So it, it sort of backfired on him, you might be right. You, what's up, Roland? Oh, no, sorry, I missed that. For one day of the year... Yeah, you're Italian. You're Italian, mm. so please support Argentina. What? That doesn't make sense. No, okay, no. so I, I trimmed a bit. So yeah. the, they, the majority of Italy... Um, Thought that the Neapolitan fans and the Napoli, you know, that they yeah. were the scum, yeah, the, the Southerners. So they didn't treat them at all well. They wanted them to 
to support Italy on that day. Well, all the time, really. Of course, yeah, yeah. But Diego said, well, they, they don't treat you as Italians any other time, so why should you act mm. like Italians in, in this game? Support me instead of those fuckers. Mm. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if that... <clears throat> that may have backfired a little, but did it really have that much of an effect? I think that was the part of the narrative that was trying... Well, at least that's the part of the narrative I got out of it. But mm. it's, again, before my time, didn't really know. Yeah, yeah. Or well, is um, that how Maradona sees it? Hmm. I think... Rather than it being something coming too much from the director. Oh, um, uh, I think a bit of both. I, I think he would feel that because there definitely seemed to be... He was allowed to get away with... Not quite murder, but, you know, he was a protected <laughs> mm. species. He was protected by the government. Um, he was protected by the town, and he was protected by the... The Camorra as well. The Camorra. You know, yeah. they're mm. all... Because he was scoring... He was mm. good for um, the town. Yeah. But then... I don't well, know. The, well, there yeah. were... Yeah, you're right. After that, he did say, like, a year before he wanted to leave, yeah. and, and the president wouldn't let him. But then he just yeah. put his head down and kept playing and did well. And still score goals. And still, they, yeah, right. Did they win that? I can't remember if they... I, did th- I think yeah. they won Scudetto that year. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe... And then sort of trying to turn the Italians against Italy, mm. maybe those things in, in conjunction uh, sort of forced people to wash their hands of him a little. Yeah, but and I the, think... the Camorra sort of left him to his own devices and the 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 Fe- Football Federation started investigating his drug habits and all this sort of stuff. And, and plus there yeah. was the thing on crime as so the stuff came out of his phone calls got released of him yeah. ordering prostitutes and things like that. Mm. Right, right. So, mm. But did that actually happen after the Argentina game? Yeah. Well, so, at least that's what's implied. So that plays into the sort of, narrative yeah. correctly, yeah. but... Yeah. Who knows? I mean, maybe they had those tapes from for years and then well that's i got yeah. the impression they did yeah it, it wasn't you know suddenly they caught him afterwards i mm. got the impression that they had stuff on him for a while and we're just waiting for the right moment yeah, yeah and suddenly it was you know his yeah. popularity had dropped and oh we've got a chance to yeah you know whoever said oh he wants to leave you know we don't like him anymore yeah, yeah. a little bit conspiracy theorist here <laughs> yeah i mean there's always i mean how does how how does a a god like that leave the club anyway like, does he just retire? Does he? Are they going to sell him? They wouldn't sell him. So yeah, it's it's a tricky one. Yeah. So mm. if we can't have him, no one can have him yeah. in a way. And, yeah, maybe. You know, I said you can tell he wanted to leave. He probably we will did. destroy him. <laughs> Do you know how old he is now? I presume he's in his <laughs> mid to late fifties. Yeah, he's fifty-eight. I mean, he, yeah. I, I oh, thought yeah, he's okay. a little. Thought he's a bit older. Yeah. Just, it seems I think to... he started so young that might be. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I think he was still in his. So he would have been in his early twenties when he so got transferred. Sixty, yeah, yeah. I think he went across in when he was twenty-one or something from Argentina. Twenty or twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to Barcelona, and then twenty-three or four when he went to Napoli. Yeah, good time to go. Yeah, well, you're right, yeah. Mm. Just about hit your peak, and then they had him for his peak. Yep. Yeah, that's right. But the other little thing I found interesting, I said, which was some of the. Um, just the way um, he was perceived in Argentina, mm. which I said I know nothing about really Argentina. I'll be honest, never been there, mm. don't know a lot. But they kept referencing as the you know the little the little black boy. I'm like, oh uh, yeah, okay. But I was like, oh, he's, fair he's enough. Not, I, he's not black, is he? <laughs> yeah. I was looking at him. I thought he was. I said he was Argentinian. To people in North America, he's black. Yeah, really. Uh, okay. Also, in I think Argentina, mm. he is mm. probably yeah. Well, okay, so that's like what you were saying, Rolly, about his his underprivileged background. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that was a huge part of the story, wasn't well, it, it? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And ex- it explains a fair bit, I think, about his journey, really. Mm, his character as well, yeah. And maybe that's why Napoli's perfect for him somewhere in the south, anyway. Isn't yeah, that? I think he yeah. kind of understood. He understood mm. it a bit. Mm. Where um, obviously in Argentina he grew up. I mean, they identified him for his talent. Yeah, yeah. But you still got the impression even Argentina was treated because when he went back there, mm. he didn't go back a hero. He wasn't the hero of Argentina. Yeah, but they, yeah, they, they um, the hero of Boca Juniors, I think. He yeah, but I'm saying they still, him. you know, they went after him. The mm. police and all that went after him. And he got arrested there mm. as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, he was a try. I said the other narrative, of course, through it all is the Maradona v Diego. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Which yep. was stressed very heavily, a little, yeah. little bit hit over the head with it. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's yeah. good. That, no, I think that's a nice 
way, an angle of it, of looking at it. Yeah, so there it is seems Diego like... and there is Maradona. They are different people. <laughs> Was that Someone in was saying that. No, I think that was the that. German guy, though. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> there is. Okay, that I, sounded I, like the, the woman from yeah, the Incredibles. Yeah, I thought it was uh, one, of, one of his lovers or something that said it. Oh, right, but, okay. He's, oh, he's well, probably his, wrong. His wife, well, his ex-wife. Yeah. Definitely said, and so did his, his coach. Yeah. Um, his athlete. Oh, that's who I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah. as I said, he'd happily train yeah. Diego. Yeah, but he wouldn't, but, wouldn't yeah, take Maradona a Yeah, Maradona was a sod yeah. to train. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, and and the whole point is, yeah, that kind of he was, you know, he was still the little kid, mm. um, you know, the young family man, you right? Know, who loved his family and all that, and just loved the game. Mm. And then as the town, the pressure, that claustrophobia got more, and he, the Madonna persona increased to protect yeah. himself in a way, and yeah. and that was the party boy, that was the, mm-hmm. you know, the bloke who um, happily, you know, was the money, was yeah. the everything else. Um. We can right at the end. I'm going to spoil the end for people if 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 you um, don't mind. He was introduced to, or I don't know if it's introduced. I think he'd met him before, but he was filmed meeting his son, illegitimate son, illegitimate son yeah. that he had never sort of recognised before. No, denied mm, him. I completely said, denied. Yeah, yeah, all those stories came out. That's right. He just yeah. denied, denied. Mm. So, I mean, that's a kind of a nice little wrap-up. Like, he's actually admitted finally. I mean, it's 30-odd 30, 30 years mm. too late. but Yeah, but it also skips his later career, you know, his coaching career and his yeah. when he, you know, mm-hmm. it's, oh, what was it a World Cup where he was standing up in the, up in the, one of the boxes going Burko? Yeah, I think that it was the footage. recent one, yeah. Yeah, and there yeah. Is, I think, I can't remember, you know, yeah. going crazy up in the boxes. Yeah. So it does... Skip over that. He still, there still was, you know, Maradona. Oh man, there's still, there is still lots of um, lots of tabloid pages in his life. I'd imagine. Yeah, and that's the main yeah. Maradona I always knew. Yeah, yeah. Sense. Well, it's good to see. I mean, yeah. they they didn't hide that stuff in this film. It's no. fairly even handed, isn't it? Yeah, it oh, it's very even handed. He's a great dude, and he's also a bit of a nutter. You know, yeah. So yeah, and great player, best player there ever has been. Oh. I'm, I'm asking. Oh. I couldn't say, and having never watched a full game of him play, <laughs> all you ever see is the highlights. Same with Pele, I wouldn't know. That's a good point. You, yeah. yeah, you don't really often see full games unless you're of that age. Um, He's the best player of football I know of. <laughs> is he really? Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. That's a nice way to end. But that'll, nothing is I'll be on the poster. Oh, yeah. Are we ending? Are we ending? <laughs> yes, if you like. Yeah, it's 20 well, minutes. Wow, I think we'll be on a while. I haven't spoken this much sport. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't speak that much. Normally I'd be. On the other side of the bar, listening to someone else by this stage. <laughs> right. Um, well, thanks for sticking it out, Rolly. No worries. Uh, <laughs> no worries at all. No, it was a good film. I enjoyed the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we could talk for ages on this topic, why don't we, but probably you not. Got, why don't you guys go on hmm. now, and then we'll just, we'll just fade <laughs> just it out fade at the end. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Rolly. Thank you, Merv. Oh, my Cheers, pleasure. guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.